Yes. Yes, the citizen assembly is already on. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are already up. We are up already. Okay. And our demands are still the same. March to Parliament, stop corruption. Anita must resign. That's right. So, um, can, can you guys request for the mic? Can you see the mics there? So request for the mic and uh, let's start it off. Let us start it off. Hi, good morning. Ellen Dada, can you hear me? I seem to have a volume problem. You're so clear. I can hear you. You're clear. Ah, hi, good morning. <laughs> um, good morning. morning. <laughs> People in the space, are you marching already? Are you walking already to this morning or not yet? Not yet, not yet. Not yet. Okay, yeah. well, um, we started a little late, but that's okay because yeah. um, we are volunteers <laughs> who do the best right. with what we have. Um, welcome, people. Good morning. My name is Stella Nyanzi. I am hosted by Elam Dada this morning and um, very excited that we've started another week. Today is the 5th of August, and, um, you know, when we were beginning, who knew that we'd go so far? I think that some people thought it was a one-time event. Some people thought it was going to be just one week. But, yeah, new week, new day, and we're back. I think for me that um, in terms of the program that we've been sharing of our program, you know, our programs, we have a well-laid-out program today. The vast majority of people who cannot come to the streets are going to be going to court because 21 members of the March to Parliament who were arrested and have been sleeping in Luzida, Makshan Bay Prison or Luzida Women Prison are going to be produced in court this morning. And I think that I've seen a list of 21 names. And so we still need sureties. There's been a call for sureties to show up. And to be a surety, one needs an identity card and an LC1 letter. And it helps if a person has a certificate of good conduct. So I know that um, the people who are organizing the sureties reminded us last night that we still need some sureties to stand for our comrades. So if you're planning to be one of the sureties or if you have nothing to do this morning, but you are available, court, Buganda Road Court opens at 8.30 a.m. And so there's some time for you to change your mind or make up your mind, prepare yourself, have some breakfast, because sometimes the court sessions are very long, and then head to Buganda Road Court. Once there, it's very easy to identify our comrades and the lawyers who are representing them. And volunteer yourself and say, here I am. I am willing to be a surety. And I think that being a surety in Uganda is one of the civic duties a person can do. It's very possible that one says, ah, I cannot match for all sorts of reasons. But being a surety is actually civic duty. And in some countries, it goes towards um, marks. You know, marks are awarded, points are awarded. I know that in some countries where people have attained citizenship, different citizenship or new citizenship, one of the ways they get points is by being uh, a surety. Because it shows you're a person of good character. Okay, so those are the things we're going to do today. We're going to try as much as we can, as hard as we can, to ensure that our comrades are released from court. Today, there are some who are going to be produced. I also know that tomorrow there are others who will be produced. Comrades who had previous, um, previously visited court or prison, people who are called uh, repeat offenders, most of those were given the last date, which is the 6th of August, and that's tomorrow. So, guys... Part of us will be going to court as sureties. Part of us will be going to court um, to help organize. Some of us will be going to court with food. And then there are others who are going to be in the social media space, different social media spaces, organizing, discussing, strategizing for tomorrow, because tomorrow we're going back to the streets. We're going to march to parliament. We decided every Tuesday and every Thursday that we march to parliament. We exercise our constitutional right to free speech, our constitutional right to peaceful assembly, and our constitutional right to freedom of movement. And so we shall be going back. <laughs> if people thought it was a one-time event that we were going to march on 23rd July, and then if they think we were just going to do a week, have 23rd July and 25th July, no, they were mistaken. And also I think if people thought that 31st um, July and the sort of retreat to regroup that happened when we had violence on the streets by other protesters who decided to burn tires, if people thought that we were retreating and therefore we had given up, again, they were mistaken because we retreated, we regrouped, 
we re-strategized, we re-energized and refueled, and now we are back. Guns blaming, guns blazing, guns hot. Our guns are very peaceful. We don't have bullets. I think it's in one of the early morning shifts that LM Dada, our host, reminded the dictatorship and the military people on the streets and the police officers who are arresting our people that we all have index fingers. We have index fingers. We have been trained in the military. We have been trained in how to carry these guns, whether by the state or through other means, but we choose to be peaceful. Coming in peace does not mean that we cannot come violently, but we know that we are fighting against a violent state and our history as peaceful organizers, our history as people from different parts of the liberation struggle insists that we can no longer afford to be violent. We're not going to meet violence with violence. Instead, we're going to fight Museveni's fire with our peace. He threatened us in the first week that if we went onto the streets, we would see fire. And we were like, you know, whether you breathe down fire or you get a matchbox and light fire or you burn yourself up, we are peaceful people. Our methods are peaceful. We're not going to fight fire with fire, although we could. And so we chose to be peaceful and nonviolent. It's our principle. It's our ethos. It's our code. That is how we be. That is how we breathe. That is how we fly. We are peaceful people. We carry the flag of Uganda. We sing the national anthem. We chant slogans such as Anita must resign. Anita must resign. Anita must resign. Anita must resign. And we wear the flag of our country or we wear black to unite us or white again to unite us. We are nonpartisan. We don't wear any party colors, but we are resolute and we're determined that in our unity as Ugandans, we shall focus on stopping corruption in Uganda. So people please retreat the space. If you don't retreat the space, I don't give up the microphone, but this is your space. I will mute myself. I see there are seven retweets. If you're new to this space and you don't know how to retweet, please use the capsule, the tube that has two on the side. It's on the right-hand side. Retweet the space. There are seven retweets. Um, retweet the space or quote the space, and then I will open the microphones. In the meantime, Elam Dadanko Dizaka Zinda Alosiru. Yes, uh, citizens, welcome to the assembly. Welcome to the assembly. Uh, Katrina, thank you. I see you. I see you. Thank you for joining the space. I see you. Swaibu Abdul, thank you for joining the space. Uh, Regans, I see you. Thank you for holding the space and thank you guys for retreating the space. Yes, so you can visit the comment section and uh, you will see the new posts we are putting there. I just uh, shared a post of uh, Mutuza Micheline and uh, she's uh, she's only calling out Ugandans. Uh, urgent matter, Buganda Road Court, 8.30 a.m. <coughs> Good morning, guys. We have 21 people appearing in court today. If you're coming through, be here by 8.30 a.m. If you can, carry your LC1 data and national ID because we still need sureties. March to Parliament. Yes, so Bumalanga Muguri Deva people, if you're anywhere near Buganda Road, you have a national ID, uh, you have a uh, what? good conduct uh, certificate. If you are, basically, if you just have a national ID and uh, an LC1 later, you can pass by and uh, help be a surety because all these uh, our prisoners uh, need at least two to three sureties to be free. So if they're 21, that means we'll be needing about 60, 60 something. Yes, so um, that call has been made and uh, do the necessary. If you cannot, I'm sure probably you know someone who can. So, you know, let them know, prepare them. This is uh, a responsibility we have to take because our brothers, our friends are, you know, are, 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 are in prison and we need them free today and tomorrow, hopefully. So I hope we're going to respond to that call and um, we will do the needful. Uh, also in the comment section, when you check, you, 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 you will see a comment by, uh, by Dr. Stella and she says, please retreat to quote this space. Remember the hashtags are March to Parliament, stop corruption, and it must resign. Yes. All right. Um, guys, keep retreating the space. I see we are. Yes, I see there are people who have not yet retreated the space. Okay, retreat the space. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Then, guys, if you are here and you have not followed each other, Please make sure you follow each other. Check the person and then check their profile and then follow them if they are on the right path. But if they are not, uh, you don't follow. You do not follow that one. Yes. Okay. So, guys, thank you for joining the Citizen Call, Citizen Assembly, Monday morning. Our most important job today is to <coughs> facilitate all everyone who is going to court um, 
you pray for people who are in court. Basically, we are today, you know, our concentration is on the court process. And we hope that, you know, our brothers and sisters will get the justice they deserve because <coughs> they didn't even deserve to be, uh, to, to be, you know, remanded uh, in prison, you know, for doing such a noble thing, uh, which is marching against corruption. That is what some, that is what everyone should be doing, but, uh, unfortunately, that's not the case. So, I welcome you all again, and, uh, I encourage you to take up the mic, if you can, and, uh, contribute uh, to this call. Yes. So remember, we have 21 other members who were arrested, uh, the previous week, and, uh, we, are trying to make sure that this week all our uh, peaceful protesters are are freed and uh, they get uh, their justice. So that's what we're on. And uh, <coughs> we are also in the comment section. Uh, you can visit the comment section and check out the different uh, comments that are being put up by people. There's a lot of information coming through there. Um, the program for this week, uh, Dr. Silla has already you know, read it out, but uh, I can repeat it for clarity. Today, Monday... We are, uh, we are, we are around courts, probably Boganda Road, that will be the biggest court, and then probably Nakawa, and, uh, we're expecting 21 of our comrades who were arrested the previous week to turn up in court today. So, we're asking everyone here who can hear us to prepare and be at Boganda Road at 8.30 with the national ID and, um, national ID and later for LC1. So, if you're there in time, uh, you will find our lawyers. We have so many lawyers. We have uh, over 2,000 lawyers from uh, Uganda Law Society. So all of them will be there. So when you get to Uganda Road, you will surely not miss them. They will be there. I'll get there early. And when you get there and you cannot find them, please contact Inbox. Inbox me, Inbox Dr. Stella, and they will be able to give you contacts that you can call. Better still, in the comment section, um, the comment uh, there you know, has a number on it. Or you can inbox Motuzo herself, follow her, and uh, she's the one coordinating all these programs. Yes, so our program for this week, today, uh, well, the 5th, we are attending court, and also we are protesting online. Um, online protests are easy, guys, I'm sure you know them. Uh, it's a matter of posting the pictures of uh, friends and asking for their release. Okay, we still have friends like Mosiri, we still have friends like Natavi, we still have so many, okay, 21 in number. So all of them, we need to uh, to protest today online on social media and demand for the release of these people because they are peaceful. Yes, so that's that's the activity for today. Tomorrow, which is sixth uh, Tuesday, we will have a physical peaceful march to Parliament. Yes, so tomorrow is is a, is a day for marching, and I hope everyone is prepared and ready. Wednesday we'll have an online protest on social media, and then uh, Thursday will be another physical peaceful march to Parliament. Yes, so that's a short program for now, and uh, I hope everyone is good to go. Uh, Dr. Stella, I yield the mic back to you, and uh, encourage other listeners to take up the mic and uh, engage in the comment section as we in, as we bring in other citizens into our assembly. Thank you so much. Right. So I think for me, I, I mean, I've been looking through the, the the program that was shared, and people were some people were saying, "Why do we sit and just talk?" Since uh, 23rd July, we had another protest on 25th July, and we planned to be on the streets on 31st July. And some people are getting anxious and saying, why are we not hitting the streets again? Why did we not come out again? Let us go, my people, let us go. And I understand the urgency, I really do, as a person who was um, really encouraged by the first protesters on the 23rd, and then refueled by the second batch of protesters on the 25th, I understand the anxiety and urgency. People want to go back and uh, hit the streets. Those of us who've been waiting for an, a resurrection of re- the resistance against uh, the corrupt regime of dictator Yoweri Museveni, the protests on the streets are a visible sign of resistance, right? That young people, regardless of color, regardless of ethnicity or tribe, regardless of religion, regardless of class, regardless of training, regardless of religion or political party, that we are witnessing on the streets of Kampala, but also in Kasese and Hoima and Arua, young people coming together and saying, we need to change the status quo. Uganda has got to start working for all of us. We are tired of leaders who don't represent us. We are tired of being in a state of inertia, doing nothing, you know, just just living every day as if 
we are not affected by the graft and the corruption and the embezzlement and the abuse of office and the nepotism and the sectarianism and abuse of power. You know, these young people taking to the streets peacefully singing the national anthem singing songs of freedom, chanting Anita must resign, wearing the flag of Uganda or wearing black to unite us, refusing to be partisan, wearing white to unite us, refusing to be partisan, holding a placard. That for me is a symbol of a revival of the resistance we need as Ugandans. And so I understand the urgency with which some people are like, let's go back to the streets. But I think that if we just hit the streets without re-strategizing or assessing our progress, our strengths, our weaknesses, and regrouping, then we shall not be hearing ourselves, learning from our first days and improving our strategy and tactics in order to be effective. And so, yes, people who are saying, let's go back to the street. I hope you have prepared your shoes that are comfortable, your clothes that are non-partisan, your placard. I hope you have drawn your placard in whatever language, with whatever message that's addressed to stopping corruption, that's addressed to Anita resigning. I hope you are ready because tomorrow we are going back to the street. Um, having said that, I think that to want to go to the street without wanting to prepare and plan is to fail in preparing well for the mission at hand. Many of us have been demobilized for a while and we haven't been coordinated for a while. We haven't been thinking together as a group. We haven't practiced this code of peace. People have questions. They're willing to come to the streets, but they don't really know the details. One of the ways we get the details, we get re-energized, we strategize, we agree on a code of practice as a community of resistors who are stopping corruption is in these spaces. The spaces are important and they must continue. They're not a waste of time. And I think for me that as a person who's been sitting in the spaces, one of the things I have drawn from the meetings, the talking, the discussions is how we are united by the oppression and long-term effects of corruption. Listening to young people of Gen Z, listening to millennials, listening to Generation X, listening to people who are telling stories from today currently, but also stories from history and seeing the connection, seeing the long dirty hand of corruption and how it's impacted our lives as Ugandans has a way in which it unites us. And I think that looking at the different bodies that were on the street, you know, there's the young medical doctor from Northern Uganda who paired up with the young taxi driver who's a university dropout who was at the School of Law watching them walking side by side and uniting with Nalongo Nana, a lady from Generation X, marching together regardless of tribe, religion, profession, class, gender, chanting Anita must resign, getting arrested together, becoming friends together in prison, standing at the suspect's dock together, speaks to a unity that is organic, you know, an organic unity. Different political parties coming together. Nana subscribes to FDC. The young people, I don't know what their party is, but one, um, indicates they are NUP coming together without any leader telling them to come together. Coming together around a national cause is important. Please request for the microphone. Uh, we have nine retweets. Um, if you want to address us, please request for the microphones. I was talking as I was waiting for people to retweet and people to wake up. The six o'clock hour sometimes is a very shy hour as people are waking up, brushing their teeth, getting ready, preparing breakfast, and then hitting the road. So we have nine retweets. Please share the space. We are uniting. The spaces give us voice. We don't have a spokesperson. Yes, we have 11 retweets. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So please request for the microphone if you want to address us. And uh, Comrade Elam Dada, who is hosting the spaces in the morning, will upload you to the speaker space. You're welcome to speak in your local language. If you're a person of prayer, you're welcome to lead us in prayer. Pray for the day. Pray for our comrades. Pray for the judges in court. Those judges that they will serve Uganda with justice. Um, does anybody want to address us this morning? Does anybody want to be the first person to speak or to pray? Uh, please request for the microphone and we shall applaud you to the space. I think for me, I was sort of talking about the unity that is being forged organically because we are a partyless, nonpartisan, tribeless, religionless, generationless, genderless, fearless, priceless movement of people who are exercising peaceful means of peaceful assembly and freedom of expression as we march to parliament. We're going back to the streets tomorrow. Elam Dada, I yield the microphone. I think I've spoken quite a bit. Alan Dada, are you there? Yes, 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 I'm here. Um, thank you so much, Doctor. Uh, guys, thank you all. I see some requests for mics. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, thank you guys for joining. Uh, don't forget to retweet the space. <sighs> yes, uh, Brother James, good morning, sir. 
How are you? Pick up the mic and talk to us, sir. Well, uh, I'm just going to sleep because it's uh, coming to 11 in the night in the U.S. So I just wanted to say good morning to you guys. And uh, Grace, I think we have been on the Kenyan space. <laughs> I've seen you come here. I asked Grace, when do you sleep? She was on the Kenyan space and we managed to, I managed to pick a microphone there. And we talked to the Kenyans and uh, they, they give us a lot of assurance. As, uh, because for them it is a nani nani. On nani nani they are saying uh, no retreat. Ruto must go with his whole system. And so it gives us hope. It gives us, because if, if Ruto goes, then we are going to have a new government, the other side to deal with, with us, a hostile government. So the, the war is not done. That's what I told him. It's not over. Because if, if Uganda is going to remain hostile to you, which is, which, which is already evidenced by them coming to pick Ugandans in Kisumu, it has, it has happened under the collaboration of, of, with Ruto. So if you are thinking of removing Ruto, may just know there will be a hostile man behind here. And they are assuring us that, yes, we will take care of you people. <laughs> so I think uh, on our side, it would be Nanyini Mufu. Nanyini Mufu ya kuata wa unya. As they struggle, the other side, to, they say, yes, we shall take care of you guys also. So for us, Nanyini Mufu, we should also rise up and to kuata wa unya. And uh, hope justice prevails for whoever is in court, coming to court today. But still, for me, like I said, this thing escalates everything. Whatever mistake these people make should escalate our stand. Because initially it was a, a simple demand. Looks like a simple demand. Anita must go. Anita must resign. And then we have got resistance from the police. People have been abused left and right. People have, uh, the, 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 the justice system is also part of fighting us. So the war is escalated. And uh, we just keep on pushing. We need to get more soldiers. More people to actually tackle different sectors. It's good you mentioned. Did you mention something like two thousand lawyers? Did you mention two thousand lawyers or two? I, I heard you mention something like that. Yes, yes, we have about two thousand joining us. If we have about two thousand lawyers, all the lawyers are registered under Uganda Law Society are with us. Yes. Then, if we have about two thousand lawyers, then I think uh, yeah, the, 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 the army is growing, and there is no simple solution to this. There is going to be a lot of sacrifices. And uh, I think yesterday we were talking about sacrifices. There, there are already sacrifices, you know, if you're talking still in Yanzi, is in, is in, is in, wherever she is in Germany, whatever, I don't remember. I am in the US. Uh, we mentioned Galogitho. We mentioned, uh, no, there are sacrifices to be made. And uh, sometimes now you young people may be, for us, we're sacrificing jobs, we're sacrificing maybe lives. You, I mean, uh, you people as young as you are, the energy is better. The energy is better. You should be able to fight these old people better than us. At 60, I think I'm not a better fighter. I can only be from Wewa Magazine here and there. But uh, you should find the streets interest, interesting. I mean, you can run run down these guys in all corners. So, it's a good night for me. Uh, I'll catch up with you people at 3 a.m. That's when I jump out of bed to go to hospital. And I, I'm usually feeling bad to, believe, to, to be the person waking up America, not waking up Uganda. It hurts me to see that I pick a car at 3 a.m., Drive on the American streets alone, almost alone, driving to a hospital. But I wish I was driving in my own country. You know, it hurts. So, I hope I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Wish you keep alive, keep hope, and keep pushing. There's no alternative apart from pushing these guys out of the way. Otherwise, you'll have nothing to talk about in the near future. And you'll regret why you didn't push. Don't live to regret why you didn't do things when you had the energy. Me who has come from the sports background, sometimes I feel very hurt when I see people going to Olympics and it has never ceased to hurt me that I never went for Olympics. But still, I didn't go for Olympics because of the Musevenis. So, use your time effectively. Shine your light. Let your light shine. Mwerabha. <laughs> Good night for me. Thank you. Is there somebody there? Was I speaking alone? <laughs> um, you were loud and clear. You were speaking to all of us. I think that uh, Elam Dada is uh, on a walkabout. Uh, but thank oh, you so much. Oh, it's a bracket. Asenya manyo. Asenya manyo. Muna again, asenya manyo. Kubanga atukula kunonje nyo. When he starts, talikila wakogela, talikila wakutukulembe, kutukunganya. And I think I appreciate that um, he's been a wonderful host who wakes up every morning. Sometimes we wake up and we start a space and it crashes immediately. And uh, sometimes we hold a space for one hour and then it crashes. Sometimes people are in our book, you know, in our inboxes, but more he's than mine because my inbox is very hard to send messages to. 
And uh, then they crush the, the you know, the, the space. But he's been resilient and he's been wonderful in how he has offered leadership uh, in terms of the morning spaces. So LM Dada, wherever you are, I don't have a hand clap, but we clap for you and we thank you for hosting this message in the morning. These spaces are for all of us Ugandans who have something to say. So if you'd like to request for the microphone and say something, address us, please do. Um, Comrade Mungadi, when you were speaking, you said that uh, at 60, you don't think you can hit the streets. And you said that for some of us who are older and maybe more tired and maybe far away in terms of distance, the biggest role we can play is maybe participate in the people arrive. Hi, guys. My name is Stella Nyanzi. I am hosting this as LM Dada tries to restart his own space. Uh, we're talking about today's program, which has court bail and online discussions. Wow. I think I shouldn't have stopped hosting the spaces in the first place. You know, the first place. I had gotten to a place, a point where I would um, just set a space and people would come. But now I have to wait for a little while as people find um, the space over here. So welcome, people. Welcome to the space. Still talking to myself. Um, I think it's important for us to continue holding these spaces every morning. My host in LM Dada, I have been co-hosting alongside him because um, my account was reported. And so my, my Twitter handle could not host spaces for quite some time. When the space this morning crashed, I experimented to see if it was possible to host this space. And so I'm here sitting and waiting for people to join us. But perhaps as I do that, I should say that uh, we have a program. Of activities, we began on the 23rd of July with a protest on the streets of Kampala. We were heading towards Parliament under the hashtag March to Parliament to stop corruption and insist that Anita must resign. Anita is the current Speaker of Parliament in Uganda, implicated in several corruption cases, and therefore we know that she's one of the people who are for corruption in our country. And so part of the strategy around coming together as Ugandans, was to decide that we must call out Anita Among. We must call out Anita Among. We must call out the four commissioners of parliament who participated in getting shares out of the 1.7 billion, um, 1.7 billion Uganda shillings as service awards. And uh, one of them is the outgoing lead, leader of opposition, Matthias Mpuga, and there are three others. And so I'm sitting here talking to myself and hoping that somebody will join the space in the spaces that have been co-hosting, there have been a few of us. Oh, welcome. Ah, I was talking to myself, but Roger, I see you. Gilbert, I see you. Welcome to this space. And uh, uh I think as we wait for LM Dada to work on why his spaces are crashing, he said to me, we can be discussing from my page. So, Roger, can you hear me? Please give me a thumbs up or at 100%. Uh, yes. and, um, can, can you say something again, please? Uh, can you hear me? Thank you very much. Do you have some time? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. You can make me a Just give me a second. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I've sent you an invitation. Uh, uh, just, if, 
Okay. Wonderful. So we can we can we can actually resume the the conversation as we slowly wait for our colleagues to joining us. I know that um, most of us have been used to finding ourselves in the morning on LM Dada's space. I have been on his page and a message it says the host is having connection issues. Give it a sec. They may reconnect soon. But he said he has a feeling the space is about to crash. So, yeah, good morning, good morning, good morning. We did one hour uh, already just before the space <laughs> crashed and you know, we decided let's relocate here. But in that first hour, I think we have outlined that today we have two functions, two roles. Our schedule one is to go to court. We're going to go to court because 21 of our comrades who are arrested since 23rd um, July, arrested as they were marching to parliament, are going to be produced today. And we need sureties. To be a surety, you just need your identity card. You need an LC1 letter, and if you have a certificate of good conduct from the police, it helps, but it's not necessary. It's not mandatory. So please, if you are available, you don't have a lot of things to do this morning, you're in Kampala, court will open at 8.30 a.m. Comrades will be from prison, 21 of them. The names I will share in the space, I had shared them in the space before. Please go to court and be a surety for our comrades. Right. Uh, in addition to going to court, I think... We know that we sit in our online spaces and we discuss, we prepare, we strategize, we plan, we think, we share our experiences about how action has affected us. We use Luganda, Rusoga, Runyoro, Ruchiga, Nyankore, Lugisu, Rusoga, Itesot, Karamajong, Acholi, Madi, Kakwa, Lugbara, all languages are welcome. This is a space of modern people. And uh, please request for the microphone if you have something to share about the match to parliament, how to make it better. As we slowly wait for comrades to join the space, Roger and Jiran could design that. Or to worry, what you think about? What do you think about these online spaces? But why is it important to attend the social media spaces? Um, for me, I think it's very important to know social media is not only about the one hour. You can be doing that. Come on, you're going to say, "Oh, look, so now we're going to be doing that." We're going to be doing that. We should be sharing it. We should be sharing the message, retweeting and doing everything about it. But how what other people do? We are just not liking or liking. And like for God's sake, you are this coward of liking or liking. It meets my understanding. It's not because they want to. Retreat. 
messages zao hapo kwa fisi yao naandika hii hebu bring now and then hebu kimbo kwa na mkazi wetu ale baringa hebu kuuliza mspace hebu ali baringa na typing na typing ona na kataka retweet tena shia hebu za what are these people doing in the space you know what are these people doing in the space but i'm not breaking out points i'm not going to say yako kwa take word as you listen in type something ugamiti kwenza ama ugamiti kwenza police ugamiti kwenza police ugamiti kwenza police tag it there is some space tag it ugamiti police mburi go mta confess na diwa msaba utu imagine this is your mother this is your sister you know Kukusumula kuwa mkazi huo kukusumula kuwa mama huo kukusumula kuwa ani kukusumula shishi The girl was crying I mean To a kuwa mbili I mean a baby Wana huo kubi na ti What have I done? Guys if that's if that's that's not playing enough I don't know what you need to do Share this space ask people What tell you people Abali mungu 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 profile hizo mataji mmoja hapa kumbobea kwa followers kwa tag on the post so that badi dada walimekuwa kwa sababu tebaji labdi na kwa kwa geni mmaso ladies and gentlemen ni dola ndio ya mamindo like i said ana tubaji ni ndio wagende kwa mwanje they were in agenda kwa mwanje ni mama wao sengao na kondomi wao ani wao kwa ni tumemanya sawa ya leo you know na hii tuzi kwa mtu wao ni mtu alikutamani mwana ni mradi mtamani kwa kumani sasa mani sida ko kwa mchara wa bandi mama wa bandi sasa wa bandi akana kwa bandi akafu mtu imani dakika ulo la kwata kwa ati police kwa mungu mzazi na na kasa sura imani mungu mzazi kama ni sida ko ni imani mungu kwa kwa kasa sisi because kwa nani mkuu zetu wana ida it is you who is waiting for it is you who is waiting for to save nani enough is enough corruption is killing our people you know what mumani let's put yourself in our shoes put yourself in our shoes wako kote unisa unit futu ni mungu they were talking about you are people accusing you of being a rebel imagine imagine that the only thing you can say to come if someone who has seen a message of being arrested after was a message when gene was in kunja and then cook someone who could send a message to kids so and so is in such and such a place you know bank could take or give people another savior so you are someone savior wherever you are you are someone savior please social media which would get to play again to yamba we would have to stand again the mentality of the government ziko bila ama bila maso agari ku street ikigali kacho mazo musaja kwa bimu ngo da galo musaja so kwa musaja ngo da ngo bila maso agari ku street wa detali na mahi ga genda kuja kuna na ya kwale suge wali wa ya bakolachi ala ku wali ni mbele ngenyi mo ebele ndikira okumbira ko so ku genda chali bomo gwadde ku ngwali ko ngande mo ngande ngi mo kusabira ni bana yuganda bali ba kusabira ro basa zewu ni kuzo mwezi bwezi kwa banga wenyi basa zo kana zokuita la kasa ngo ya ngo ala wali bali ku funa ku ngala gala akasa wa funa ala funa ni funa ngi mbadja nja ndi ngi mbadja nja ama tuwe ngi we sisters Bama lidi zuo kusuma. Ya asi ndamu ni siku. Employee to deploy them. Can you imagine? Ala sawe duga wa mbalo lidi basawo. Mbali mkwe kala kasi. Akina mbada ni kuzuka wa gamitu. What are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? Te wali chiki. Te wali ni mbijigenda kujia kusosi. No. Na hii mbili mbijigenda kujia kusosi. Yungu mbuka kimande. Mbuta mbe. Mbuka ni mbuka 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 fight this corruption. Jo, uh, welcome to uh, Matua, Matua Job. Welcome, uh, ladies and gentlemen. We have uh, Mr. Matua Job. He's a chairman, he's a vice, or a CC, something. So, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. But uh, anyone, please uh, request for a mic if you want to speak. That's what I wanted to say, that this corruption is uh, a cancer that is eating us all alive. We like it, we don't like it. It's a cancer that is eating us all alive. Recently, I had you, Mr. Matua Job. He was speaking very passionately about corruption. Thank you for coming on this space. We would like to hear lots of, uh, of, of, of your views, your beautiful views about how we should look for our future before we fight corruption. Because as you know, our sisters, your friends, their relatives, people you don't know, people you know, people you never dreamt of, people who have big dreams, they're somewhere fighting to have a better life. Just like you, put yourself in their shoes. Put yourself in their shoes. Do not mind about who they believe in. They, 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 they believe in. Do not about their religion. Do not about their tribe. Just imagine them as a human being. Ubuntu. Imagine them. As somebody who is there looking for help, but he cannot find help. But the only thing they hear, the Speaker of Parliament, the right honorable, na lungo ma lungo, Anita Among, get to 10 million in return. You want to go and go, a generator, a generator, on taxpayers' money. We in Monago, we in hospitals. Today, I've just seen, uh, I don't know today, a few days the president was in um, West Nile, celebrating West Nile having electricity. But a whole speaker, if they are in the government, which can raise uh, such amount of money, such amounts of money and the whole region in the entire country has been off grid for 40 plus years. Jesus Christ, this is so ashamed. In that region, there are people who have dreams, the people who want to be on Facebook trading their stuff, the people who are talented, who can open up access to internet, 
But then you want to use the internet, but the government of the Uganda, Mr. Amatua Joe, the government of the Uganda is silent about this heavy, this is not corruption, but it is a thirsty. This is a haste, Mr. Amatua Joe. This is a haste. They're robbing you, motherland, dry. They're killing a full region. How many people die in hospitals? The electricity, government, internet, world. May a full speaker, I know I'm going to school anyway, a full speaker of parliament, throw back 500 million. And the generator, the way that they do, you have another one too. We must have them like you. They need a service they don't have. And that service is what the money you've stolen. What kind of us these people have? What kind of us do these people have? Are they human beings? I've been reading people's uh, views and, and, and I mean, uh, people's testimonies, uh, people's testimonies online. Jesus Christ. What is the government? The Uganda police is not coming out to say something about this gentleman who kicked people, who brutalized people. What is a dehumanizing nature? That's really, it's really bad. These are not animals. They're fellow human beings. They're fellow human beings. This is someone's daughter. This is someone's son. For God's sake. They have not held a gun. Why do you, do you treat them like they do not matter in this world? Jesus Christ. Mr. Matthew, kindly, I would like you to address a few people, but I will give back the microphone to Miss Stella. Wow, Charlie, what's the name? Stella, what's the name? Use the microphone. Thank you so much, everybody who's joining. Keep, keep uh, sharing the space. Do not just them out. Do not abuse them. Maybe they had seen the different Uganda from what you see. Just explain to them what you are seeing. What you are seeing, explain to them. Do not abuse anybody. Do not. You can be fair in ideologies, but you don't have to abuse somebody. Give respect to each and everybody. Me, I am campaigning. I am campaigning for one gentleman to host a space, Kaushenga, to host a space with the Chief Justice, the Minister of Internal Affairs, and the Minister of Constitutional Affairs, the Minister of Justice and Constitutional Affairs, Mr. Robert Mao, the Chief Justice, Mr. Oweni Doro, and the Minister of Internal Affairs, Jim Kale, I mean, Jim Kainda Otafil. Why do they come to the public? Because they, we, they're humans like us. These are people who present delegated powers. They should come and say something about the nature of brutality that is going on, that is being you know, displayed in the country. It is a shame. It is a shame. Only if Mr. Kapoe, Mr. Kapshenga can host that, and we are from the horse's mouth, what is the Minister of Internal Affairs, Mr. Yamakani Rotafiri, what is he talking about the brutal brutality of police? I saw how they dragged the Nana Matrika. This is someone's wife, this is someone's mother, this is someone's sister. This is a human being. This is a Ugandan who needs respect. She came wrapped in a Ugandan national flag. Give respect to that flag if you're Ugandan and the hand of a fellow Ugandan with disrespect and dignity. But why would you do that? Why would you do that? Respect that flag. Can, it's, can you people respect the flag of the country you call home? Someone's wrapped in a flag. It's not a weapon. It's not an army attire. It's a flag of the country you're representing, the flag of the country you're defending, and somebody's dropping that flag, and you're treating them as trash? Are you guys serious? Mr. Mutua Joe, why are you running away? Come back. Joe Mutua, where is he? Is the RCC? Where is Mr. Mutua Joe? Stella. Well, thank you very much for <laughs> addressing Mutua until he ran away. Um, for me that I was waiting to hear what he had to say, having seen that our protests have been very peaceful. I wanted to hear if he has changed his stance because he's among the frustrated, the organized peaceful demonstration in Arua, and he threatened people with arrest. And so I, I hope that he is now still bold enough to request for the microphone and come back. So, Roger, thank you for hosting. As we were saying, the first space in the morning crashed. Our usual host, Ellen, is facing problems, but he's working on his internet and maybe he'll come to host the space later on. In the meantime, uh, Roger and myself are co-hosting this. We are going to court today. 21 of us will be produced in court. So my space, unlike other spaces, does not have a provision for immediate commenting, but you can comment uh, from from the profile page. You can't comment directly from this. But uh, b because I, I blocked I comment uh, options, because sometimes spaces are in people can be very rude. And so I'm not a very person as host. So my my Twitter mail has ended. Whoever reports, shame on you, I'm back. But I think it's better if someone else co-hosts and I co-host the morning sessions. Hopefully LM Dada will come back to us, but for now he's um, working on his internet. Mansoor, do you want to address us, Mansoor? 
Okay, Mansur has dropped off. Um, so, to Ghana Mukoti, we're going to court. 21 of our comrades are going to be placed in court from Luzira, uh, maximum security prison. The women are in Luzira, women, the men are in maximum prison. And, uh, we still need duties. Court 8.30 a.m. The prison bus from Luzira is actual before court open the prisoners. If you have an ID card and you have a letter of introduction from your LC1, and uh, it's free, but if you also have a certificate of good court, please show up in court to, to stand for our comrades who were arrested simply because they were exercising their right, their constitutional right to peaceful assembly, their right to freedom of expression. They were responding to the constitutional mandate to combat, combat, combat corruption. They committed no crime. If you want to address us, please request for the microphone. We are going to have um, a court session happening. So our lawyers has underscored, have done us a good job. Uganda, Uganda Law Society members are offering pro bono services to our comrades. And uh, the rest of us are preparing for tomorrow because tomorrow we are going back to the streets, to, to Parliament. So prepare your T-shirt. We agreed on black or white or the colors of the Ugandan flag. Prepare your placard, prepare your whistle, prepare your courage, prepare your spirit. Let us go tomorrow to March. So today we're going to online spaces. Today we're also going to have the court sessions. Banange, please record the microphone and address us um, if you want to say anything. Otherwise, me and Roger will keep talking. Comrade Florence, I see you. Katrina, I see you. Vincent, I see you. Grace, when I'm in the rabbit team, Dark Matter, A. Clinton, Fred Sevunya, if anybody Speak, please request the microphone and address us. Nobody. Florence, only once here, when Roger was speaking, he said, where is Comrade Florence? Shall I pick on you and invite you to address us if you can, or you're not uh, available right now? Can you give me an indication to be 100% or a love heart or something? Right, so as people think about requesting for the microphone, I want to remind us that also in the House of Parliament, a uh, member of Parliament, Theodore Chisechikubo, has been looking for signatures to present a central motion against the four commissioners who received that money as service award, the 1.7 billion. Among them is the going leader of the Nduga, and three others. And so very much echoing our second demand. Our first demand is that Anita must our second demand in the parliament movement to stop corruption is that the four commissioners must resign. So after Anita Song resigns, we want the four commissioners to resign. We have a set of about 10 demands, and the second one is that the four commissioners resign. So part of what is interesting is to see how such a motion in parliament reflects our second demand much to parliament, that the four commissioners must also resign. So this week we're looking forward to uh, seeing what unfolds in parliament. Regarding the session, I think uh, by Friday, Fyodor Sechikubo had mobilized 186 signatures. Signatures are all that he requires to present before Parliament the session motion. And so this week, again, very interesting times. How that unfolds. Fyodor Sechikubo is part of the NRM. And um, it's interesting that in the Parliament we are partyless because some of the people who are fighting against corruption belong to the party in power. A lot of us are in opposition and some of us are partyless. And so our movement stop corruption and march to parliament and say that Anita Masain is non-partisan. We are partyless. We come from different political parties. We also don't uh, political, uh, political parties in this study to focus on Uganda as a national cause, national cause around stopping corruption and uh, where we're going to go in terms of our organizing. We're non-partisan, we are partyless and as parliament is working on the session motion, our eyes are there because our second demand is that the four commissioners who participated in sharing the service award must all resign. Roger and Jilan, could you say that? Yes, you're right about parliament. The section of the vote, yes, in the community. But, but, we are thinking still that because now we have the whole government, we have the MSA, the news board and all that. I am thinking since we have our demands, if at all, if at all they play those gimmicks of uh, this and that, it cannot be they would ABCD. Remember, there's a hashtag also trending much to the judiciary. So if they feel they want to send it to the judiciary, the courts of law to determine it, then we have a match to the judiciary. So let's keep an eye on both 
in case they uh, try to play around. <coughs> in Jakuba, they may say, one other. We need to know what town, we need to know what town, everybody who comes is under whatever paper follows. If you, we don't know if you are in charge of your phone, I mean, if you are in a phone, if you have your phone with you, I mean, you have a laptop with you, whatever you do, whatever that you're using, you don't know because it has been calling me, 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 but, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, the, today is court session. We are looking for shorties. I was all of them, 40, still, I don't know what I'm going to find you, who supports and be part of uh, the people who are going to rescue our soldiers. From the dungeons. Uh, please ask for the microphone. Ask for the microphone, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, to give them a mask, so please. Sela, my day in having for running, yeah, we can still around. So please, you can go ahead and uh, I want to go easy. Thank you. Well, Wendy, is there a way? Um, when you sang a um, see the one give them tag the people who are going to be produced last in court is a special friend of mine and um. So I decided that every morning until he's released from co uh, from prison, I'm going to be holding these spaces. Wale kuma cha. Oba bagalo bache bagala. Oba ni mula mwa basi. Oba ni nenda kukolo basi genda kukola. Nenda kuholding all the space. I have been co-hosting with LM Dada. I don't know what his uh, is right now. I don't know what he looks like. I don't know what, what, what. But we agree. And this is a wonderful host. Space is less limited. We had agreed that every morning host and I will co-host. But for me, my co is to that one prisoner who is still in Luzida prison. When my daughter went to visit him, he had been shaved bare. His head was bare. His beard was taken off. And I decided the least thing that I can do is to hold a space everything together with us to discuss uh, why it is important to continue on the march to parliament to stop corruption. And so I know that we are leaderless. We have no leaders in the parliament a movement that we are conducting. But for me, it is very personal. I don't need anyone to say to me, Stella, wake up in the morning, come and wake up in the morning and hold the space. The space was reported uh, the day I created uh, a, a space where Comrade Bobby Wine, also known as Robert Chagulani, came. So how many people reported my Twitter space? And then my rights to host spaces were taken away from me, I think, for a week. But even when my rights to host spaces were taken away, I said every morning I have to find ways of talking about much to pass about the struggle to end, I'm talking about why it is important for Ugandans to come together. And I have so far been faithful. Some mornings it's very, very difficult, um, especially because I also hold down a full-time 9 to 5, you know, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. job as a scholarship holder of the Writers in Exile program. So sometimes I'm hosting and working an assignment or work at my desk. But I committed that I'm going to be morning conversations around Parliament to stop corruption. Because for me, it's not a national cause. It's also very personal. One of the protesters who woke up in the morning to hit streets on 23rd July, he was raising uh, his voice and his courage as a special friend of mine. And as long as he stays in Luzida prison, Maxon prison, as long as he's sleeping on that floor, I will be among the people in the morning to speak out against corruption, to speak out against unjust arrests, torture in detention, to speak out against a judiciary with slapping Trump charges against young people who are protesting, exercising their constitutional rights to peaceful assembly. We are a peaceful movement. We sing songs. We chant. We sing us and we hold the flag. We wear the flag. We wear black. We're not even wearing partisans. We wear black or white. We are mobilizing hope and courage to against corruption in accordance with the Constitution. And these young people were arrested, tortured. We've had stories about beatings, kicks, punches, sodomy, Threats simply because they were exercising their constitutional right to peaceful assembly, simply because expressing free expression, free expression, constitutional right. They're putting their disgruntlement against government that's corrupt, and they got arrested. Ah, uh -uh, this is unacceptable. So this is why I come in the spaces this morning. A comrade saying it's important we explain we are funded. We are not funded. I have a scholarship, a scholarship in Germany. People are laughing at me in exile. I'm eating, you know food. But if an exile can participate, what about those of you? So thank you very much, A. Clinton, for requesting for the microphone. Thank you, Mumbere. I see you. And I think um, I will yield the mic and invite you, A. Clinton, to speak. After A. Clinton, Mumbere, please address us. Clinton, you're welcome to unmute and address us. A. Miraz. Uh, Clinton, Clinton, please, if you hear it, please unmute and uh, address us, please. Clinton, are you there? 
Mumbere, 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 Mr. Mumbere, please address us. He or she. Uh, good morning. Um, good my morning. Name is, yeah, my name is Mumbere. Um, I'm, I'm here. I'm not a she. Hope everyone is fine here. But my network here is not stable. That's why I'm a bit delayed. Now, uh, about the march to parliament, here in, in Western, Western Uganda, it's like most people in Western, we are still having this problem. You know, at night I was, I was following the space here, there was a meeting also, but I was following. In, in fact, I, unfortunately, I did not get a chance, but currently in Western here, we don't have, uh, actually the ground, the ground is still unaware of what is taking place. But when you, most of us who are on X, who are on media, who are following everything, uh, we are aware, we have been seeing what has been taking place, but I was requesting that you people who are in the diaspora, you would do, would help us and make a, a good organization, a strong one, or on the base here, so that even people in the West can understand this and can know that this is not all about a, a political party like like FDC or no or what, but this is just a joint thing that needs us to all participate, that needs everyone, every citizen to raise up. Too, in, you know, in Western, we still have some some. I don't know whether I should call them local because. Most of the times they are not on the national, but they are popular in the Western here. And these musicians, these artists have just kept quiet, very quiet about this noble cause that we are going through. So my request would be, despite all these beatings on the Lord, but now if in the West would also have that strong stand about this and corruption, we exercise the local people, we tell them that there is a lot Oh, excuse me, uh, Mr. Mumbele, uh, yeah. Mr. Mumbele, please. Uh, thank you. I'm sorry to cut you short, but uh, you want to continue. Just have a question. In the Western, you know, Western is big. And uh, I don't think people you're referring to are really in diaspora. No one has told you that where they are. People are just on space, just like you are on space. So do not yeah. assume that whoever is on space is, uh, is in diaspora or is where. Everyone is wherever they are, just like you, you are wherever you are. So um, yeah, yeah. Western, you're referring to Western, sir. Western yes. is very big. Which part of Western in particular do you, are you referring to? Where do you live? Particular, particular. Where? Kasese. Yes. Kasese. Kasese. So, mm. Kasese, do you have a brother, same mother, same father? Yeah, I have. You know, okay. I'm Mumbere, yeah. Okay, thank you, Mr. Mumbere. So, <laughs> since you have a brother, do you have a sister? I have them. Do you have any in-laws? <laughs> of course I have. Okay, so how about, now that you're picking an inform- information from me, and we would actually request you to keep staying here and uh, keep talking, but uh, how about, it starts with you, you go and tell them, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, whoever they are, address them in whatever, um, whichever form you, you address them. Tell them, guys, are we happy about Hello? the hospitals we have? Are we happy about the roads we have? If they're happy, leave them, because it's not only your relatives, it's not only, and anyway, this is everyone's job, it's your job. It's your duty to love your country. And if you love your country and you're seeing such things happening, what do you do? Because it is a country you were born in. It's a country you are going to die in. Whatever happened to somebody you don't know, it might happen to you. So before it happens to you, help that somebody that, hey, you know what? People are somewhere sick. They need medication. What is my job? Let me talk to my relatives that, you know what? Let's help somebody we don't know. We to parliament. Let's support, you know. Tell them about the corruption that is going on in the country. Tell them about the things you're not happy about. You, you yourself, you see that are really, really not, uh, it's not, they're not good for you to live in a country with such conditions. For example, if you love the roads that you are of, of the, in the country, anything. So it is a problem that you should solve yourself. No one else is solving it for you. We are here just to talk about such things. For example, today we have our friends, our relatives, our you know in-laws who are coming to court today. We do not know them 100%, but we know that people are coming to court and they are arrested innocently. You, as Mr. Mumbede, can you please ask your relatives, that, or your, your relatives actually, your mother or your, your father, or even yourself, can you retreat and say something that, hey, I am with the people who are incarcerated wrongly. At least do that. The country will know Mr. Mumbede uh, did something. So do not wait for anyone to retreat. Do not anyone do not wait for anyone to do anything. Even if you are in Kassese, even if you are in wherever you wherever you are, do your part as a citizen of the country called Uganda. It is called Uganda because it unites all of us. That is why it's called Uganda. So do not wait for anyone to wake you up to tell you, hey, so the roads are bad. No, do not wait for anyone to teach you what corruption is. This is not corruption. This is embezzlement. So if you yourself you know here and you feel touched, kindly Mr. Mumbele help us deliver the information further. Do not wait for anyone to do it for you. Do it yourself. Please do it yourself.
no one is going to do it. If people are calling you to come to, to, to March to Pagame, wherever you are, even if you're in the West, write on a, on a Manila paper, okay? Write on yes. the words you feel, you feel that are good about corruption, mm. you know, mm. bad or whatever. Do not abuse anybody. Don't call people names. Just write March to Parliament, stop corruption, and ABCD. After doing that, hold it, take a picture, you know, share it on social media. You've done your part. The message would have moved. That is what we are waiting for you to do. Yes. At least use it. At least use it as your profile picture. At least we won't ask for your face. Just use it as your profile picture. You yourself write it. That is the bullet we want you to use to end corruption. There are no bullets. No one is sponsoring the other. Sponsor yourself. The data you have, the time you have today. If you can do it right about now, get a Manila paper. Write on it. Anita must go. End corruption. Whatever corruption has done to you that you think is not right, write it yourself. That is your bullet. That is your bullet. Okay. Yes. Just write that, take a picture, use it as your profile picture. That is enough. And you keep repeating. So please go ahead. Thank you. So, no, no, that's what, this is what I was telling you for the case of saying, if I have relatives, better myself, I'm a teacher and a secondary school teacher. But now this is what I've been telling my students. Eh? You know, these are the youth we are targeting. These are the youth that we, we, we need to raise, we need them to rise and speak against corruption. For your own information, I have constantly informed them about what is going on, about what we are supposed to do, about the brutality the police is using. I have even showed them some pictures. Only that the best thing I'm going to do right now is to do what you have formed me to do, just taking some some manilas, write something about corruption, and then I, like I make it a bullet to to move this this noble cause so that it can be. I can keep repeating it and make it my profile picture. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mombe. Um, I think for me, I want to have interest. You said yesterday a space. Sorry. And uh, you. Sorry. Can you hear? Mombe, can you hear? Uh, I'm hearing you. Yes, and I was. Saying, but for me, I appreciate you because yes. yesterday you said you were in a place where people were discussing much to Parliament peaceful demonstrations, and yes. you want to know how does this extend to Western to Kasese? I think for me that many people hear us, they see us, but they're not interested. For you, you're very interested, and I appreciate that. That is the spirit. That is how we are extending the message down. I know you say those of us who are in diaspora, see the message. Um, actually, those of us who are in diaspora also just had the message on Twitter and the message. So there is a leader who is doing this, and Roger has explained, each of us is teaching another person. Each one of us is playing a role. It's very good to say that teachers have a lot of influence over their students. Thank you for the work you're doing to teach about corruption, to teach against corruption. That we are mobilizing. And then uh, there were people on the 23rd of July who actually in Kasese got to the placards and took their photos. When our comrades were marching on the streets in Kampala, those in Kasese were all near a road, the name of the road, but it's a road that has a big hole and they co- you know they, they congregated together they gathered about 10 or 6 of them held their placards they made their messages of stop corruption That's work in Kasese big on the 23rd but there is hope to make it better so maybe your school will also have uh, some students participating with you who knows each one of us is teaching another and uh, but yes I thank you for your interest so Fred Sebu Sebu Mu Sebu Nya I see that you've requested for the microphone please mute and address Fred Sebu Nya Good morning. Uh, yes, good morning, comrades. Uh, my name is Fred Sebnyam in Kampara. Uh, now, for me, I just woke up one day and found myself in our WhatsApp group uh, for March to Parliament. Uh, because I'd found people like of the same views, ideas, and uh, mind about what is going on in our country, I picked the interest and actually I did not question why I was added to the group. Uh, we are a group of young people uh, in the uh, School of Leadership uh, in NUP. So we started mobilizing and actually uh, even our facilitators uh, were so positive about the, pro- the program and actually the Secretary General asked us that the following uh, Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. I'm sorry to cut you short. Please, this has nothing to do with any political party. Please. Nothing to do with any political party. And um, if you discovered or you found your number in whatever certain group, please contact police that you know what. I was I discovered myself in a certain uh, WhatsApp group and they were telling me to do A, B, C, D. And this is, this. let's say, let's say whatever political party you're mentioning. Here, we are not discussing anything to do with any political party. 
please respect the platform. The, 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 you know, it is a match to parliament. This is each and every citizen is right. Nothing to do with whatever political party you're mentioning. So please respect the listeners. Please respect the listeners. Thank you, sir. Proceed, please. All right. Sorry about that. So my point was, uh, this is all about mobilization. Because the moment I got to know about it, I just mobilized my friends. And actually, uh, uh, on 23rd, when we, 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 we got together as a, a team that had bought the idea, uh, later we were joined by the comrades Mosiri and others. So we, 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 we went to, to streets together. Uh, some of us, uh, some of our members, uh, were arrested. Um, good enough, we got some of them uh, released on bail. So the program today is strictly going to court and uh, following, uh, following what will be the next program. Yeah, I think it's all about mobilization and uh, uh, sensitization. Waking up other members because it's true that this concerns everyone. Yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Fred Sevunya, thank you for the microphone and speaking to us. I, uh, two, two things out for me. One is it does not matter how you get the message. You got it and you say it for you, you got it in your NOP WhatsApp group. Okay. I think what is important for us to understand is that when we sit in much to parliament caucus in our spaces, the streets, it does not matter what our political party is, right? So we try very not to reference our political party. I wonder, eh, why did Roger cut short? It is because political party discourse and referring to our political parties immediately divides us, you know? So I, you may recognize some on the streets. Maybe they belong to political party. They don't belong to your political party. What is important? All of us doing this deal as we are marching, not front political parties. We stopped being members of political parties. No, no, we still do them. However, our space are partyless. Partyless. If you find a party, really understand how the work we are doing. And then if you begin to, your political party become agitated. Political party conversation, divided, you know, talked about your secretary general. I have got a general, the secretary general of political party implicated in corruption allegations. So when you talk about your secretary general, I also talk about my secretary general and another political party that has secretary general can also talk about that. So we do not refer or refer to salt our political party or our political parties. We have not left those parties. Uh-uh. We are still members of those parties. But as we organize stop corruption, anti-corruption, much to as we organize ourselves, the thing we decided to put behind are those parties and the leaders in parties. Maybe your leadership is good, but as far as all Ugandans know, all our political parties are implicated uh, in the corruption scandals, you know? So I think just a lesson to take that in terms of the way we organize, in terms of the way we in terms of the way we strategize, it doesn't matter. And you know, you mentioned Comrade Musidi's name. Who is sitting with us? He's not NUP institution head. Ah, uh-uh. our uh, Ugandan is marching to Parliament to stop corruption. I think that's the same attitude all of us must take. Because at the end of the day, there are people from NRM, FDP, UPC, RF, NEED, party who are working together, holding each other, thinking, thinking together. We are in the courts together. We sit in together. We are coordinating together. We are fundraising together party less fun, right? So thank you for talking about your WhatsApp group. Continue discussing in your WhatsApp group. It's the best way to mobilize, to participate in your NU WhatsApp group. Okay. But when we are discussing, we discuss Uganda National. And I think so far we do not have a consolidated WhatsApp group for stop corruption, although there may be groups coordinating on the sides. People are finding people who share the same spirit and are organizing their own WhatsApp groups. So, Rodney, Aine, you're welcome to us. Welcome to the space. Please unmute yourself and talk to us, Rodney. Rodney? Rodney, Aine, Sass. Rodney, are you there, sir? Rodney? Hello, Rodney, can you hear us? Please talk to us, Rodney. Welcome on the space, please. Say something. Rodney? Okay, uh, since Rodney is not hearing us, Mr. Richard Mukiza, welcome on the group. Uh, please say something about uh, the court bill, the March to Parliament, what are your views about uh, everything that's going on? Anybody can you hear me? Clinton, you put your hand up, but uh, ask for a microphone. 
Clinton, in questo microphone. Uh, Stella, you are saying something. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please, we are here. If you want to say something, if you want to address us, please request for a microphone and uh, say something. MP, what? Welcome to uh, the platform, please. Yes, yes, Rodney, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Start from uh, start from the beginning, please. No, this is Clinton. Am I am I audible enough? All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Stella Nyanzi. Greetings. And Roger and the rest. I've been so down, so sick, but she's again I'm awake. Anyway, um, much of parliament as usual. Uh, we begin the week. And, uh, but before we begin the week, we need to first really, uh, we need to have, uh, good news from the, from court. So we pray. Let's put all our lawyers and those that are some other uh, on our legal side, <coughs> uh, that God may use them, uh, to receive, uh, uh, good news from the whoever is making judgments of today, <laughs> the judgments that uh, Mr. Museveni created. So, um, we pray for also those, uh, that are going to be brought in court, uh, to be strong, because for sure it's so important, uh, to put everyone in the hands of God. It is so important. And also it is, uh, a key that we call God the big soldier to make sure that tomorrow we are more than 50 people on the street. Anita Mong must resign, however much <clears throat> they are bringing all diversions. Dr. Sarah, as I've had the news that uh, one of, uh, I think, uh, Deputy Speaker, um, having, uh, have been, uh, survived an helicopter crash. Um, I, th- for me, I would say that that is a diversion. The government is trying to find a way to divert people from what they have to do. They are creating news here, they are creating here, but nothing is working. Because I've never, in, in my life, I think I have only had one news of one kid. A kid who survived a, 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 a plane crash, a helicopter crash. So, some things are planned, some things, the government will use all its mechanisms to make sure that they bring up, uh, any diversion that can really divert citizens. We will remember a few days, uh, last, like, few weeks, there was also papers that were moving online regarding, they are trying to, uh, uh to, 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 you know, to attach a certain corruption, uh, scandal, billions of money. <clears throat> I think that was the, almost from the EAC, the Extra Commission. Yeah, that was also a diversion, trying to say, uh, some organizations which are political, which are political organizations, they are not accounting their money, they do not, uh, you know, those kind of things. So as people of Uganda, we need to be careful, we need to listen, we need to watch what is running on media, and we need to give less attention. That, that, that is actually not having any, um, uh, value to our cause. We need to make sure that we are well prepared, uh, not to accept any kind of dialogue. We are not here to dialogue with anybody. We are not, we are only here to say that enough is enough. Uh, the, 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 the big fish that have been eating smaller fish, they must uh, exist. And that is Anita Mong. Anita Mong is that kind of the person who has decided to really let our children, children, even our children to die of anger, to die of anger, to die of no medicine because of her selfishness. We still call upon, uh, the, her resignation. And it's not only her as her. <clears throat> no. We don't need seven tactics of whenever we come out and talk about politics. I was seeing one of our uh, new appointed minister, of, I think, for youth, and saying that is that seven is trying to to, to do, eh, to, trying to fight corruption. But you can imagine, forty years in power, forty years in power is when you're waking up. So we don't need seven tactics of you know trying to show that of, of, of being sympathy to citizens of whom of whom he has ruled for forty years, and now it's when after you young youth have it's when he's saying I'm working with youth. But remember, this guy what he does. When after saying that he's working with the young youth, he runs, he arrests people who are actually not, not anywhere. Um, so yes, they are in records. Maybe they are, maybe some of them they implicated, maybe they are, that they are corrupt. But it, it is not a public that has come out to a point to say, to accuse them that these people, and he leaves the big fish to remain walking in our, uh, our vehicles. You can imagine uh, all those cars, the, 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 the billions and billions of money, of, um, um, of billions and billions of money that are invested in those cars. And, you know, we, we are just there and then he leaves them there. So, we Ugandans, we don't need to accept, we should not accept this kind of nonsense of Mr. Museveni. May I call it nonsense? Because his games are just like childish games, you know? So, we should not accept this kind of, um, framework of, uh, of patronage system that he's continuing to use. And it must step down, and it is our responsibility as Ugandans to make sure that it is effective. It's not anyone else. If it is not today, then there is no tomorrow. If you want your child to go and start and get a job, 
you must make sure that you go to the street to demand accountability because we need better schools, we need better schools, we need better, we need more factories, we need more, uh, more employment creation, uh, so that we, are, our people are able to get jobs. But if you feel that you are very comfortable and you want to, your child to finish a degree in law and go and start working for Indian shops, sitting and selling phones, then it is really, it is all your choice that you make. But I know that also there's no parent who wants to spend all billions of money on educating someone from primary to the university and they end up selling phones on the streets. They end up uh, being like a baby. They end up, they end up riding by border borders. After that, spend all that a lot of money. I don't think anybody. So we believe in parents. We believe that parents are with us and you support our cause. But that's not enough. We want also to come out. We want you to come out and say enough, enough because you are also being oppressed one with the other in terms of managing families, in terms of managing your gardens, uh, your, your growing crops. But the, the, the value of market is so uh, de, is de, de, depleted. You are not gaining. You are not really having what you could have had as a, as a father, as a father, as a parent to feed the rest of the children. So uh, let this be an alarm that everyone, whoever in your category, whoever you are, wherever you are, it's your responsibility to stand with us in this struggle, that we win the struggle. Uh, and those who join the space and don't share the space, please share the space, invite colleagues, share them in WhatsApp groups in different ways so that the people can come here. It's time to wake them up. It's time to educate them. It's time to continue pushing them. Because, you know, Ugandans, we have one problem as Ugandans, and it's very good to talk about it. We talk about it. For sure, if anyone neglects this mission, just to know you have done what, uh, you have done what, uh, uh, our former speaker, with his with his parliament uh, did after allowing Mr. Seven to, to change our constitution and remove the presidential term limits. From that moment, that's when our council was sold completely, even the last penny which we could have said. Allowing Mr. Seven to change, uh, change the constitutional uh, right in presidential, in presidential term, that means that we were sold completely. Mr. Seven is now a decision maker of everything. He takes our council as his home. So we are tired. And Mr. Seven and, Mr. Seven and his government, he must stop calling us Vazukuru. Akakama Niro. I saw Baram on TV. They should stop calling us Vazukuru. I, we don't want that portrait system which continues abusing. The moment we are going, let me tell you something. The moment that calling us Vazukuru is going to be another case that we're going to add on you. And the moment you step down from chair, colleagues, me, I'm telling you, the citizen will be accountable. Even with his family, even with his people, we're not going to be, whatever he took, it has to come back to the people of Uganda because they can't belong to the people of Uganda. You know, it is our country. We will not accept this kind of, we will not tolerate this kind of, uh, of, 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 you know, of draining the country and be like, you know, I'm almost, eight, I'm, I'm already 80 years, so I am dying. So you want to die with us. You forgot that we, we, we were there before you were, you were there. You came and found us, we gave you an opportunity. But it is so alarming. It is so alarming that whoever comes out to speak, this is the one you silence. Whoever comes out to speak is the one you abduct. Really, it is really a shaming. It's really a shaming. It's really attacking. It's something that all Ugandans, it doesn't matter the political party you are in. You must wake up. You must stand. You must work hand in hand with us to stop this kind of system. Uh, as I conclude, I will say um, that um, I believe that we still need more people who are going who are students in form of students who can join those courts today. Please have your LLC one letter and the IDs and the rest. Please support our colleagues to come out of the prison of Mr. Seven. I also appreciate whoever is trying to bring in the sun, in the sun, in the, in the sun, um, those police officers who are actually damaging the image of our, of some of our good brothers who are undamaged, who are really mistreating the prisoners, who are mistreating our people. We are saying that this is a right way. Bring them to the public. Let the public them know. It may not be today, but they are going to pay. They are going to pay what they want or not. Um, and, and another thing is that um, we try to keep pushing this together. And share the, the, the space. Make sure that everyone gets to know that we are now here because we have a long day. We have a long day. We have so many people who are going to be released today in Jesus' name. We am a Christian. I believe that. And it has good news. So really, guys, I want to see the numbers increasing. Thank you so much. Right. Thank you very much, Clinton Miras. Uh, thank you for the prayer you started with. I think for me that um, a lot of the things you say totally make sense. You know, I don't even have to echo anything. Um, just to remind people that 21 comrades are going to be in court today, I think mainly Buganda Road Court, but um, will be advised. I think court begins in four minutes, 8.30. Most courts in Uganda, the court clerks have already started opening. The prison bus is rolling into whatever court and uh, we still need sureties. I think there was a call that was made last night. We need sureties for our 21 comrades. So if you have an LC1 letter and you have uh, the day free and uh, you also have your ID card and it's not but if you also have a certificate of good conduct, 
please make your way to Buganda Road Court. You will find the lawyers there. And uh, please stand surety. Being a surety is one civic duties that Ugandans are encouraged to, um, to, to, to undertake. So thank you very much, Clinton Miras. Keep praying for us. Sorry, you're not feeling very well. You said you've been down. We pray the God of healing will heal you so that you can continue contributing in terms of your ideas. But also, who knows, maybe you will participate on in the road street uh, test, encourage somebody to be there, uh, empower somebody to be there, give advice to somebody to be there, motivate somebody to be there if you're there in person. Right. So again, maybe for MP Uganda and any other person who is uh, available to coordinate the day's spaces, LM Dada, who usually hosts the morning space, has had issues with his um, space. I think the issues around his Internet. And so I am sort of hosting until somebody steps up to to take over the role. My account is limited. I don't allow comments. You know, the, the, the settings are very limited because I don't want a lot of negative feedback. And so when I am participating in other people's spaces, I can comment and people can share and retweet. But in my case, my space is very limited. Um, I, I, I sit up that way that usually I speak to people and I don't get feedback. So if there are people who want to open another space, maybe at the top of the hour, I'm very happy to close this space and we move there. But uh, for today, the space will be begun with LM Dada at 6 o'clock as usual. About one hour into the space, uh, it crashed and he's not been able to come back online since then. So, MP, you're welcome to address us. And maybe you will also address the question around whether we should close this space at um, the top of the hour at, at 9 o'clock. And then somebody else opens the space for us. Yeah, please unmute yourself and address us, MP Uganda. Thank you so much, Doctor. Uh, good morning. Good morning, Doctor. Good morning, every Ugandan. Please, uh, uh, first of all, I will maybe start with that one. I would like to open the space, but then I need someone who can uh, co-host because I'm going to be. I can provide, but I I need. I'm going to be so much up and down, but my network, I believe, it will be so. It will be fine. So if I can have someone co-hosting, and then I I, I can open, and that's that's we need to keep the space going. But uh, personally, yeah, that, I won't be. I, I can co-host for a time for some time. I'm available. Then uh, yeah, uh, you can open up. I can co-host. Okay. Okay, that, okay, that, 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 that's, that's okay. Um, thank you so much, Doctor, for uh, the consistency. Yesterday we had a space where we ha- where we had uh, um, activist Nana, and it was so imp- it was so good to to, to motivate uh, the protesters, especially the ones that are uh, joining, starting the protest, and those that are coming back. Maybe those who went on the ground and all that. One thing that I want to say uh, w- before I forget it is one uh, reason why I requested the mic is that we are the there are the four plays done already. The, the, the lady is ready. She's just waiting for us to enter. So, uh, everything, em, environment, you're nearly prepared. Dr. Toseka, environmentally prepared. You know? Yeah, environmentally prepared. We have already, we have already the lawyers have done their part. You guys have already done your part. We have exposed the, we have exposed the errant police officers. Like, in the way we have protected, we have guarded ourselves. We have guarded ourselves. We have protected ourselves. We have protected the future protesters. Tomorrow's protesters, Thursday's protesters, next week's protesters. The environment is already, already So, but, but like, 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 so like, we just have to do what we, what we thought we couldn't do. Let's take it. For, we just go, get, get your money in the paper tomorrow, get your money in the paper, go and protest wherever you want to go. Because the, like, I saw a, a post was, was done by someone, uh, uh, requesting how much, uh, probably, uh, bail, when you how much. And then Agatha was saying, uh, uh-uh, now we are no longer t- talking about how much the bail. Because, uh, and then she quoted someone, it's called, uh, the council, is it Kabumba? He said, uh, because she fought that. Of course, not alone, but as Ugandans, including the lawyers, uh, you guys fought that bail cash. It's no longer, it's no longer now a, a, a factor. So now we are looking at uh, how long the how long the remand can take. So now the other fight that we we, we have to win back on is well, yes, Baba and Kute. I am I should be able to get uh, that, uh, a bail on that very very day. So you will see that environment has changed from what has from what was happening before. So. As the, as the protest continues, when, 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 when you expose the, when you expose the Iran police officers, it, there's a way how it restrains other people. When you expose, when you expose those magistrates, production warrant, despite, I'm talking about more detention for weeks, I think I'm court in the state of Singapore for other two weeks. That is also, that also is our, is our safety, is our only security. So we are in a way trying to protect ourselves as a country. And already the ground is being laid by you guys. So let's go for that. Let's know that when you are prote- when you protest, you have a protection of the Ugandans. That's one thing. You have the protection of the Ugandan society too. You have the protection of, of all the lawyers and all the like. You have them. You have that kind of protection. This is what this is what we want from from. Uh, this is what we want from 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 today and all the future protest pro- protests. So if you are there and you think you are, you can protest, don't fear. But if you fear, go and go and listen to that space that was uh, that uh, that was uh, the where 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 Nana was was hosted. Go and listen to that space and see how you can carry out a protest. Doesn't matter how many people you are. 
but it depends on the creativity that you have and the whole world will see that kind of protest it doesn't have to have thousands of people but we just have to keep them we just have to keep the protest going don't wait for huge numbers don't wait like you have 1000 people to, to go with them no you can still carry the protest when you are 2 10 people uh more numbers no problem but don't worry that you people are not joining you and all that what i noticed yesterday nana, nana said something she said for her she she, she she moved alone she moved alone from her home but then when she reached Cham, 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 Cham Towers, she found that actually there are some two guys, some two young men, and these people have, have been giving their testimonies here. They didn't know each other. They just joined Nana because they found her on the street. So I always say here that there are so, Ugandans, I can say Ugandans who are much agitated with this system, 90% of them want to protest, and they're just waiting for that opportune time. They're just waiting for that time. So you never know someone may be going to uh, just with his work, and then you see you protesting and say, ah, let me also join this because this, we are tired of this, we are tired of this, we are tired of this. And someone will just join from nowhere. So we have to, that is the way how we can also awaken our, our Ugandans and bring them on board. For me, that's what, uh, that's what I, I came to say, but, uh, on top of the hour, I will open, I will open up uh, the space and then, uh, uh, like Roger said, probably he will take over as a co-host and other people. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Roger, and thank you so much, everyone that has been in this space. Uh, thank you so much. Right. So thank you, MP Uganda. Um, and I think as well, thank you for agreeing to start the space because uh, one of the things that came up in the early stages, I think the first week was people accusing, alleging, claiming, making wild generalizations that we are fun. <laughs> and if we were fun, I don't think we would be having spaces that crash. I don't think that our host of the morning shift would be facing the sort of challenges he's facing right now. If we were funded, because our social media, Twitter and TikTok and now Facebook space are how we are conversing and organizing and strategizing, we would have had money going there. But just to highlight that this is voluntary, people are putting in whatever they can from their own pockets, from their own resources. Even our spaces crash, <laughs> you know. Um, even when we have internet, we find that, um, you know, the, the person who has internet is not contributing towards bail, for example. But it's very good that uh, the conversation around bail, as you have said, is a new conversation. We are not talking about denied applying for bail. I think there was a preposterous magistrate who, re who denied us the opportunity to apply for bail in last week. But now it is sort of affected. It's mandatory. We are produced in court. Charges are read to us. We take plea. Um, most of us are pleading not guilty because, in fact, the, 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 I think one of the things that Nana said yesterday is how ridiculous the charges, the, the crimes we are being charged with are. And, and then bail is also sort of becoming automatic that any of the peaceful protesters who are produced in court, there will be an application for bail. And I think in almost all cases, apart from two initially that were then recalled and granted bail, everybody has been granted bail. So again, to remind us, 21 of our comrades are going to court today, predominantly the Uganda Road Court, but maybe other courts um, as, as the day in, unfolds. And we need people to stand surety. So if you have an ID card, if you have a LC1 letter, and it's not mandatory, but if you have a certificate of good conduct, please show up at Buganda Road Court. I think that the prison bus is about to enter the Buganda Road Court gates, and so court is almost about to start. Please stand surety for our comrades, right? I want to talk about one other comrade we haven't really discussed, and that is Sami, the mighty family, or Sami, or, or, or something like that. Um, and I think the person who prayed, Clinton Mirror has made a prayer for our imprisoned comrades and those who are going to be produced in. I think we need to have a special prayer for Sami, uh, whose production warrant had issues that Pastor Aaron Chiza, the production warrant, um, prepared for Sami last week and I think there were challenges. So please remember Sami, the chief family. I think that in the conversations from comrades who are telling us about how they were tortured, you know, during detention at CPS, one of the comrades told us that he witnessed um, the violence and the brutality that was meted out against um, Sunny. So let's let's remember him as we pray those of us who are people of faith. So we have uh, 11 minutes, no, 20 minutes now before the space shuts down. If anybody wants to address us, please request for the microphone. Shirak Emily. Shirak Emily, you have got the microphone. If you want to address us, please unmute yourself and speak to us. Shirak. Hello, hello, my family. Hi. Yeah, my name is Ishirake Emily. I'm a transgender from DRC Congo in the country. I'm living in Kenya in a Turkana refugee camp. Thank you. I'm happy to meet you guys. Okay, thank you for participating. Um, I know that in Kenya today, people are preparing for the Nane Nane March, which is 8th of August March. 
where a number of people in Kenya are going to descend upon Nairobi City. And um, those who are demanding that Ruto must go are also demanding that he should come and address <laughs> Kenyans about their demands. <laughs> Bayaga John, I see you want to speak. Do you want to speak to what you got? Okay. Um, Roger. Uh, yeah, I was interested who is that Shirak. I was interested in Shirak's story. If he's participating, because you're still driving the point, I was expecting a question from you. But um, yeah, Mr. Shirak, welcome to the uh, space. Uh, about uh, your agenda, we really uh, welcome you. You're a human being just like we are. You have rights you're fighting for. And since you are in Kenya, uh, please coordinate and uh, join the people of Kenya for whatever is going on, like Stella said. Uh, yeah, but uh, we would also want to hear something about uh, our March to Parliament peaceful uh, protest, if you have something to say about it. So you are welcome, please. You can continue to speak. Mr. Shirak? Mr. Shirak? Hello, Mr. He or she, Mr. Or, uh, Mr. Mrs. Miss Shirak, are you there, sir? Okay, uh, since Shirak is not there, there is Mubilu. Sela, Mubilu, Uyo Aze, uh, Inzo Kumu Akamaik, Naye Navako Chatugamba. Right, so Mubilu, you're welcome. Um, whoever you could jump to space here for Mubilu, please unmute and speak to us. I think the other the other sort of interesting thing about my space is somebody can join as a speaker immediately and some people do not want to speak. They just want to sit in the space and hear what's happening. So sometimes the person who has a microphone joined, the, the, joined through the option that says join as a speaker and they don't want to speak. Well, I think I want to thank you oh, very Stella. much for being part of Wendy. Um, while you are and he still has a microphone. So before you close this, this space, Mumbere, is there anything you have to add on, please? <laughs> Again, the... Okay, Sarah, please conclude. Right, so I just wanted to thank you very much. Thank everybody who has participated in the morning space. I know the first one crashed. Some people came back, some people were not able to come back. We are going to shift to MP Uganda's space. Tomorrow, LM Dada and myself will be here in the morning. LM Dada will be hosting, I will be co-hosting. Uh, thank you very much for participating in today's deliberations and discussions. My name is Stella Nyanzi. We are going to transfer to MP Uganda's space. He will be hosting and Roger will be co-hosting. Thank you very much, Roger, for co-hosting the space with me today. You came up, you volunteered in a moment of crisis. That is how our leadership roles are being redefined. Each of us is a leader. Each of us is a spokesperson. Each of us takes up space. These spaces are our spaces to express ourselves, to participate in the strategy laying, to correct, to advise, to plan, to celebrate as well, to grieve. And so I want to thank everybody who has participated in the discussions. Bob Lea Mende, I see you have come to the space. We are here for 15 more minutes. If you want to address us, please make it brief. And then we shall turn to a space that MP Uganda will open. Bob Liam, do you want to unmute yourself and speak to us? Yes, sir. Good morning to you, comrades. I hope you all slept well by the grace of our Heavenly Father. Being the master architect of all living and unliving things, yes, sir, we put our hope in his guidance because there is nothing that we can attain without his indulgence in our envisioned goal. This is to rescue Uganda from the grip of dictatorial seven dear brothers and sisters. Do not despair. When you think when you see that things are not progressing the way we had projected it from the beginning, do not lose hope because it is the same Lord that deposited the reasoning capacity of which we can rely and say, no, we have to continue pushing. Thank you so very much, comrades, as uh, my sister Stella Nyanzi has mentioned you there for your undivided devotion, for keeping this fire burning, the flame burning, attracting more participants. The more we dissect matters, the more we attract more young people to join the revelation flaunt that is a powerless, tribeless, and fearless movement which is intended to force Anita Mong to resign and rescue and restore sanity to the house that manufactures the rules that binds us together as a nation. Let us continue the revelation. Let us continue mobilizing each other, brothers and sisters. This is a self-responsibility and it is a collective responsibility because one, we have one common enemy, that is Yoweri Museven and all his psychophants. I beg to submit. Right. Thank you very much, uh, Bob Liam. You kept it nice and brief. Just as we are closing, I see there are other people who have the microphone. Uh, J.S. Nawianda, but now he has dropped off. Okay. Naija Arua, 33, do you want to address us? Naija Arua, 33. No? Okay. Kalia, Kalia Subula. 
Do you want to address us? No. So I am going to close this space now. Thank you very much. We're going to move to MP's space. And once again, remember, we are in court today. 21 comrades are being produced in court. We wish them well. Um, right, I'm going to close the space. Have a good day, my people. Convene in MP Uganda's space. And the spaces will continue alongside uh, uh, court bail applications. Also, just to say that tomorrow we are back on the streets. So please iron your shirt, clean your shoes, prepare your courage, because tomorrow we're going back on the streets to march to Parliament to stop corruption. And we insist that Anita must resign. Have a good day, comrades. Have a good week. And I'm looking forward to good testimonies at the end of about how we visibilized the fight against corruption peacefully on our streets, waving our flags of Uganda, singing the national of Uganda, chanting Anita must resign and uh, being as united as Ugandans, as, as united as possible, being partyless, tribeless, religionless, ageless, borderless, fearless, uh, fearless, priceless, relentless in our work to stop corruption. Have a good day, my people. Bye bye.